In both industry and academia, there are a diverse array of behavioral tests used to examine disease states, drug efficacy and toxicity, cognitive behaviors, sensory motor function, social interactions, substance dependence, and many more, all in animal models. Behavioral research in rodents falls under the umbrella category of behavioral neuroscience. So what exactly is behavioral neuroscience? Behavioral neuroscience is the study of the underlying neural or brain mechanisms that guide behavior. Behavioral testing in laboratory animals is vital for understanding how the brain supports sensory motor function, cognition, emotion, and many other processes. In addition, it is essential for understanding how brain function is altered in various disease states, including neurodegenerative and neuropsychiatric disorders. There are many factors to consider when conducting behavioral testing in laboratory animals, namely rodents. These include, but are not limited to, the following. Type of laboratory animal used, mice or rats, sex differences and strain differences in the animals used, age, housing conditions, and animal experimenter interactions are just among many. If you are new to behavioral research or behavioral neuroscience, it might be overwhelming to know where or how to even begin. This is why we have created a guide on behavioral testing and laboratory animals to help you get started running your experiments today. Today we will cover differences to consider when choosing mice or rats for behavioral testing. Mice or rats, which are better for behavioral tests? The simple answer is, well, it depends. Rodents, in particular mice and rats, have been the preferred animals for biomedical research for several reasons. Namely, they are readily available, easy to handle, can be genetically modified to model a variety of disease states, and are genetically quite similar to humans. There are several factors to consider when choosing between mice and rats for experimental behavioral testing. I will explain these now. The first is size. The average mouse weighs about 20 grams, while the average rat weighs about 10 times that. If you plan to do several surgeries for your experiment, rats are often preferred because their larger size makes surgery easier. However, for experiments involving imaging, mice tend to be preferred. This is because their skulls are thinner, making optical access to the brain easier, and their small size makes them easier to position under the microscope. The next is handling. Rats tend to be easier to handle and are less stressed when handled by humans. This makes them ideal for behavioral tests that require a lot of handling from the experimenter. However, since mice are smaller, they tend to be easier to restrain, making them a more suitable choice for head-fixed behavioral tasks. Next is genetic modifications. Genetically modified mice are ubiquitous in behavioral research. Because their genome is relatively easy to manipulate, genetically modified mouse strains are much more common than rats. Genetic modifications in mice are commonly used to model various disease states, as well as to target um, very specific cell populations. The last is social behavior and cognitive behavior. Rats and mice are quite different in terms of their behavior. Rats tend to enjoy being with other rats and are less territorial and aggressive in social situations compared to mice. Rats also show more maternal behavior compared to mice. Rats are also superior at maze learning as well as learning various operant tasks. This makes them easier to train because it requires less time. It also makes them a better translational model for studying neuropsychiatric conditions like autism and schizophrenia, as well as for studying hippocampal function as it relates to maze learning. Now that I've explained the differences between mice and rats, hopefully you can make an informed decision about which animals to use for your testing. If you have any questions or would like to know more information about the types of tasks we recommend for laboratory testing in animals, please visit our website. 
Thank you.